in a bar in Toledo across from a depot and a bar stool she sat and she took off her ring and I I thought I'd get closer so I walked on over and I sat down without asking and I, and I asked her her name and when the drinks finally hit her she said I'm no quitter but I finally quit living on dreams she said she's hungry for laughter and here ever after that she was after whatever the other life brings and in the mirror, first I saw him. I closely watched him because I thought he just he looked out of place. He came to the woman who, who, who had sat down beside me. And he, he had this, 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 this strange look on his face. His hands were calloused. He looked like a mountain. And for a moment, I thought I was dead. But then he started shaking. His, his big heart was breaking. And he turned to the woman and he said, You picked a fine time to leave me, Lucille. With four hungry children and a crop in the field. Now, I've had my bad times, been through some sad times, but this time you're hurt and won't heal. After he left us, I ordered more whiskey, and, and, I, and, and I thought how she made him look small. <sighs> and from the lights of a bar room to a rent motel room, we walked. Not talking at all. <sighs> she was a beauty. When she came to me, she must have thought I lost my mind because I couldn't hold her. I couldn't hold that woman. For the words that he told her just kept coming back time after time. 